Did you do this to me? I betrayed my mother's dying wish to be with you. Sorry, Gabrielle, but V is pregnant with my child. I can't leave her alone. Just, you promised to marry me, and now you're betraying your vows. I do apologize to you, but... I promised me you wouldn't contact me. Just get me. out! Just get the hell out! I'll marry him. Gabrielle, it's great that you finally decided. I heard Mr. Powell used to pursue your mom and the old lady also liked her pretty much. And treated her like family. Pity that they didn't end up being together. However, before your mom passed away, the old lady made a promise to her. And as long as you were willing to marry to the Powell family, she would cherish you and won't let you be harmed in the slightest. What? He is injured. An artery was his food of repair. He definitely can't run far. We must find them. You don't want to die, do you? He already had the poison. Find him! Good. You know what to do. If you expose me, I promise I'll make you regret it. Oh, man. Oh, you can't just barge in here like that. It's against the law. You're anybody. Let's go. She's too stupid to lie to us. Getting scared of her minor issues. Women are such a hassle. What the hell are you doing? Please, if I did this here, but you just don't. Damn it, the medicine's working. You stirred up my desires. <laughs> They won't mind doing me another favor. <laughs> now you don't mind, sweetie. You must be Miss Gabriella. Yes, I am. I guess I'll keep my word and I'll transfer your father the 10 million. What, what did you say? My father asked you for 10 million? Spare me the act. He asked for 10 million with no discount. Even if I was to sell my daughter, I would not do it this way. If it wasn't for the old lady's word of approval, you would never enter the Powell family. Let me take you have some rest. Mister, are you hurt? Let me call the driver to take you to the hospital. No, nah, forget it. Just call the family doctor. Who the heck are you? Why are you in my room? I... Mister, I, Mrs. Paula, I'll run to her sleep in your room. Before I lose my temper, just get out of here. Leave. Couldn't you be more of a gentleman? Let me take you to a different room. And pick those filthy things up on your way out. Now you're insulting my dignity. You expect me to believe a woman who sold herself for money, all because of her vanity and greed, has the audacity to lecture me about dignity? In this family, you better keep a low profile, or I'll kick you out at any time. Yes. The 
Mr. has obsession with cleanliness. Please be more mindful in the future. Obsessed with cleanliness? You're like OCD. What the hell are you doing? Please, I did a serious. Where are you going? Your old man is coming back today. And he wants to speak to you and Gabriella about your marriage. Her? You think she's capable of being my wife? Serious. That's what your grandma wants. Her and him are both at the hospital waiting for you. I heard you sold yourself for 10 million, huh? No, it's not like that at all. And you're fulfilling my mother's dying wish. Well, I will offer you a billion just to get out of the Powell family. What? Oh, please. A materialistic woman like yourself? has never seen a billion dollars in their entire life. No. I think you're misunderstanding. I'm not here for the money at all. Not satisfied with the billion. Woman, your greed is going to come at a cost. How dare you? I warned you. Because your mother's request, I have no choice. So if you're married, I'm your lawful wife. You're kidding me. Just her, you, and this damn piece of paper think you could be my wife. Get real. You do anything for money, wouldn't you? Well, if that's the case, let me grant your wish. No, let go. Do all these rich people think I'd sell my soul for money? It's not like that. I came to talk. There's a misunderstanding between us. A misunderstanding? Your father took 10 million first, then you come dressed like this? That's a misunderstanding? Since you're so horny, why don't you fulfill your duties as a wife? Why don't you just listen to me? You're such a vain woman. Tonight, you'll sleep in this empty room alone. I may have fulfilled your wish, but what about my life? <sighs> Looks like you had quite a night last night and you put in quite the effort. I think you should take this card and go buy yourself something nice. I, I don't mean it, Mom. I have my own money. Nah, don't argue with me. I don't like when people argue with me. Hey, you. Come in. Take the pills or not. Pills? What pills are you talking about? Are you dumb or do you not understand? A lonely woman like you will never bear my child. Go to the store and get the medicine. I'll come back tonight to check on you. What can I do for you, miss? I need contraceptive pills. You better take proper precaution and not just go for temporary pleasure. This medication can cause great harm to your body. Thanks. I will be careful. What the hell are you doing? Did you take the pills like I told you to? Yes, I did. Do you know what happens if you deceive me? Swim. Where are the pills? Give them to me. Swallow it. You don't deserve to have my child. Make me do this! You're insane! Who the hell would want to carry your child? You're a crazy, arrogant egomaniac. The thought of you just makes me sick. What did you say? I said you're insane. Go crazy before I have your kid. I don't even want to think about it. Good. It's been a long time since anyone dared talk to me that way. What are you gonna do? What are you doing? Get out of me! Stop! <laughs> I've been merciful for too long. Tonight I'm gonna show you what happens when you angry me. You can't do this to me. I will sue you. I want a divorce! 